Usually they would do that with people who were crucified. But in order to fulfill prophecy again, saying that his bones would not be broken, but that water and blood poured out when they stabbed him in the side. And some say that Jesus' heart was broken at that time. And then he died. So after he died, Jesus' followers took him and wrapped him in linen in a burial cloth. They wrapped him in that, and they laid him in a tomb, a borrowed tomb from a man named Joseph. And then, after they buried him in the tomb, which was really just a cave in the side of a, of a hill, maybe, um, they rolled a very large stone in front of it. Um, one person couldn't move it. It was huge. And so they laid it in there. They didn't want anyone to, to disturb the body. So they rolled the, the stone in front of the tomb. But no one could get in or out. But early the next morning, some women came to the tomb. They wanted to anoint Jesus' body with spices and oils. And that was Sunday morning. But the stone was gone. So the women looked in the tomb. And just like this last egg, 
it was empty because Jesus wasn't there. An angel actually appeared to these women and told them, why are you looking here for your Lord? He is not here. He is risen and he's still alive today. Jesus died for each of us, for all of our sins, so that we could be with God in heaven. And if you don't know exactly what that means, we're going to tell you exactly how you can ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. This is the story of Jesus' death and resurrection. One day, Jesus and his disciples came to the city of Jerusalem. As he entered the city, people laid down palm branches and said, Hosanna to the son of David. The chief priests did not like that Jesus was being praised by the people and wanted to get rid of him. It was Passover, and Jesus was with his disciples to eat a meal. He looked at his disciples and said, One of you will betray me tonight. They all said they would not. As they passed around the bread to eat, Jesus blessed it and said, Take this bread and eat it. It is my body. Then they passed around a cup of wine. Jesus again blessed it and said, Take this cup and drink. This is my blood, which I shed for you and all people. Later that night, Jesus wanted to walk in the garden. A few of his disciples followed him, but they fell asleep. Jesus prayed to God, knowing that he would soon be killed. That morning, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, approached Jesus in the garden with some soldiers. Judas kissed him on the cheek, and then Jesus was arrested. Judas had just betrayed Jesus. Jesus was brought to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked Jesus if he had said he was the Son of God, and Jesus said he did. The chief priests did not like this answer and asked Pilate to put Jesus to death. Jesus was given a crown of thorns and a heavy wooden cross to carry through the streets. The people made fun of Jesus as he carried the cross out of the city into a hill. Jesus was nailed to the cross. He called out to God, saying, Into your hands I commend my spirit. And Jesus died. The sky turned dark and the earth shook. Jesus' disciples and friends took his body, wrapped it in cloth, carried it to a tomb. They rolled a big stone in front of the opening and went home, saddened by the death of Jesus. Two days later, Mary Magdalene, Jesus' friend, and another Mary came to his tomb. But the stone was rolled away, and an angel was sitting on the stone. The women began to cry, and the angel said, Do not be afraid. Jesus is ridden at, risen as he promised. The women ran and told Jesus' disciples what the angel had told them. They did not believe the women until Jesus appeared to them, and then they rejoiced. And once Jesus has risen to heaven, his disciples then went out into the world to spread the good news about him. Today we celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection on Easter Sunday, giving thanks to God for his promise of eternal life. Larissa just went through the resurrection eggs with you, and she spent uh, a few minutes going through all of the events of Holy Week, from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday. And the story has already been told. And in a lot of churches, when we reach Easter Sunday, we, as pastors, typically say, He is risen, and the audience answers, He is risen indeed. And that's what we celebrate today, the fact that Jesus Christ is risen. He died, He lived a perfect life, He died, and He rose again for you. He did that, as Riz talked about, to be the perfect sacrifice so that you could have relationship with Him, so that you could have relationship with God. When Jesus, uh, when Jesus died, the, the veil, uh, the temple, which signified where God lived, was torn in two from top to bottom. And it ushered in a time when we could have personal relationship with God. And if that's what you want to do today, that's what I want to lead you through. If your heart's pounding today, that's the Holy Spirit talking to you and saying, it's your time to turn your life over to Jesus Christ and let him become your Lord and your Savior. 
He died for you. He, he hung on that cross for you. And he is ready to hear, have you say to him that you need him and you need relationship with him. So do me a favor and pray with me right now. Father God, I believe that you sent Jesus to this earth to live a perfect life, to die the death on the cross and to rise again so that I can have relationship with you. And Father, for those hearing my voice, I pray, Father, that you would have them pray this with me. Lord Jesus, I know you did what you did for me. I know you lived a perfect life for me. I know you died the death on the cross for me, and I know that you rose again for me. And so, Lord, I surrender my life to you. I surrender everything I am to you, and I ask that you would be my Lord and my Savior. I believe you, I confess you with my mouth, and I trust you to take the reins of my life and to lead me however you choose. So, Lord, I give my life to you today, and I want to know you personally. I want to walk with you, and I want to grow with you. I want to become a disciple. So, Lord, I give you my life today. If you prayed that, Pastor Don's going to pray us out here in a few seconds, and he's going to walk through some more of this with you. So I just pray that you would tell somebody what you prayed today, and that you would celebrate that he is risen. He is risen indeed. Refuge Community Church, and I would like to pray with us as we close today. You've already heard the gospel, so now let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that the gospel was proclaimed. I thank you that people have heard your truth. And I pray today that if anybody is trusting you for the first time, that they will pray to you and say, Lord Jesus, save me. I need to be saved, and I need to repent of my sin. And Lord, I also pray that you will reach out and you will let them know that they need to be connected. And that's what Refuge wants to be. Send them our way, Lord. Send them to a Bible-believing church so that they can grow in the knowledge of you. They can be discipled and they can learn how to serve. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray you have a happy Easter.